All right, so on my last tutorial, the iOS version didn't work. So on this tutorial, I will be showing you how to get Minecraft pixel art on iOS. Uh, so this tutorial is gonna be for iOS, Xbox, and PlayStation. If you want to know how to do this on Java and Android, go ahead and go to my last tutorial on how to make this. Uh, the link will be in the description uh, on Java and Android, but this is iOS, Xbox, and PlayStation. Uh, so up until probably the end, the process for this will be the exact same since they're all on the same engine, uh, Bedrock. So, so the requirements are you need a PC. You don't need Minecraft on your computer. You don't need to have Minecraft on your computer. You just need to have a PC that's running Windows. If you have a Mac, that's your fault for getting a Mac. You need a PC that's running Windows. You don't need to have Minecraft on it. Um... And yeah, that's that's literally all you need for this. And of course, the platform you're playing on. Also, uh, I found this method. I didn't get this method from anywhere. I created this. Um, so if you could leave a like, cause this is kind of hard to figure out. So yeah. Uh, for this process, it doesn't matter what you're on, iOS, Xbox, PS4. The process here is just basically gonna be the same. Um, so just watch through this. So the first thing that you want to do is look look for SpriteCraft, like my last video. So click on the first link. It should say something like download SpriteCraft 1.17 now. Click on that. And yeah, it should be down here. You could make a new folder for this whole thing. And drag, drag your SpriteCraft into this new folder like that. Now uh, just extract everything here. And there should be something that says spritecraft.jar. Okay, so it should open something like that. Make sure it's on 256 as max height and no max width. Uh, go to browse. So uh, here's my picture, Lightning McQueen. We're gonna convert this to Minecraft. We're gonna save this schematic as uh, McQueen. I'm gonna save that. I just saved my schematic. Schematic. You can exit out of this. All right. So now what you want to do is um, look up. You don't need to have Minecraft to do this, by the way. You're gonna probably think, oh, we, well, you lied. You do need Minecraft. No, you don't need to buy the game. You don't need to make an account. This is all 100% free. So you want to look up Minecraft download. Well, all we're doing is uh, just go to the official Minecraft website. All we're doing is we're getting the launcher. We're not. We don't. You don't need the actual game. So don't worry about it. You don't need Minecraft Java to do this. We're just getting the launcher. So download this Minecraft Installer 3.msi. So you want to click Run, and obviously just go through the installation process. Mine might be a bit different since I've already had it installed. But yeah, just go through the installation process. Um, and okay, so now what you want to do is click the first link in the description that says Minecraft 1.12 download. So you want to click my download link. It should take you here. Click deny. Wait for this ad to skip. Could then go to skip ad. Um... I'll, you just might say something right here. I wonder if this... And then uh, just wait a little bit. It should redirect you after you wait on this website. So click this link. Then you'll get something. This is my file. Since this is my method I created. So you want to just download this. It should start in installing your file. So basically what this installation is doing is we're downloading the version of the game, but it's not piracy because we can't actually play this version. So it should say something called .minecraft uh, in here if you, if you actually open it. So what you want to do is press the Windows key and R at the same time and just go to percent app data percent. And you should see something that says .minecraft. But yeah, it'll only have this in there. So what you want to do is just delete this. Go ahead, delete it. 
and then drag your thing that says the eGames into your roaming file because it should bring you here and just click extract here this may take a little bit and then you'll have something that says dot minecraft and all of this will be ins installed so now what we can do is you want to go to MC edit so look up MC edit click on that click this green button right here uh, and then click whichever one you have uh, if you don't know which one you have just do 32 bit but most people do have 64 bit so it should be safe just don't make 64 bit it's probably better to install 64 bit okay so once this is installed you want to it should say something like mcedit.exe open this click run uh, and then go to extract to and just extract it wherever it says personally I'm going to find the file I made called I think it's called eGames Happenings I'm gonna extract it in there just to make it simpler for you so I'm gonna so just click extract and it should be here you should see something that says MC edit to whatever this folder where, where you downloaded it now all you want to do is click open make sure this opens okay Okay, so you should see something here. It's it says world list, but it's it's empty. That's fine. So you there should be the second link in the bio and the description that says it it says uh world save. You want to click on that. So yeah, click on that second link that says world save. It'll bring you right here back to this website with the ads. Um, wait for five seconds and then go to the top right, click skip ad. Um, you don't have to click allow, you could just wait. Wait uh, for a while, it should redirect you to the website, just wait on this page. Just because it didn't take me there. Now there should be, you should be downloading uh, another file called the eGames. We're gonna, we're gonna download this, okay. So open that up. There should be some be something that says the eGames. So you, we're gonna go back to our friend percent app data percent. We're gonna go back there with Windows key plus R. Press Windows key and R at the same time, and we'll go to dot Minecraft. Go in here. Go to saves, and we're gonna. What we're gonna do is here. Take your eGames.zip. Drag that into the saves, and click extract here. So you should have this thing right there uh, now we can restart MC edit because yeah let's restart that now you should see this right here you want to click on edit it should say like something like loading plugins loading panels all right so this is where we are okay so what you want to do is click import uh, go here to import and find out where you saved your schematic. It's, mine was called McQueen. That's that schematic. Okay, so find out where it is. Uh, I saved it to my desktop. You find wherever you saved yours. So yeah, uh, look look at it. It's right here. Uh, go here and click confirm. Okay. Uh, okay. Now that you've clicked confirm. Go up to the top right here and click save. Okay, uh, now that's good. You can exit out of this. Okay, so once that's all done, you want to find something called MCC Tool Chest. That's what you want to download. So you want to download MCC Tool Chest. Click this. It should download. All right, and just drag this to whatever folder you like. I, I keep put everything in one folder for this video. So MCCT tool chest, what am I saying? MCC tool chest PE is uh, open the MSI. Uh, next, install, just install this, whatever. Finish. Okay, so now we wanna open MCC Tool chest PE. It should look like a chest. Oh, okay, we'll, we'll click that, I guess. So once you, this is open, 
you want to click you want to go to tools convert to bedrock and uh, your world right here should come up click on that whoops yeah, that. click on this click convert process completed okay so click save right here once you've clicked save what you want to do is go to Windows key and R and go back to app data percent open that so we should be here it'll say roaming actually click back on app data click back on there click go to local you're gonna scroll down until you see packages then scroll down until you see something that says microsoft.minecraft open that local state games just keep clicking here and here's our world it's right here all right so this is the final step on pc so we want to right click on this click on send to compressed zip folder title this whatever you want call it light Lightning McQueen. All right, so perfect. You have this right here. Now what you can do is you can you can go to uh, whatever website you like. I prefer Mediafire, so we're gonna go to Mediafire, and we're gonna go click upload from computer, and we're gonna just drag this on here, cause we gotta get this onto our phone or PS4 or Xbox somehow. So we're gonna click begin upload. It should should be right there. See right here. This is my uh, this is my world other world save. So this is your file right here. If you click on it, it'll bring you to a link. And um, since this link is kind of long, you're like, what? I have to write all that out here. Go to this website. Just paste in your link. And it's it's still kind of long, but it's not as long like see that's that's less letters so um, you only have to type in that much link and it will see if I enter it in it'll still take you to your thing so you want to go to bit.ly to shorten your link and uh, yeah you can use this on the Xbox I screwed up while recording the Xbox part so I have to do it over again Okay, so I don't have an iPhone, so we're gonna be using a tutorial from a guy named SLX3. All credit to him for this tutorial, or her, I don't really know. So you're gonna need an app called Documents and uh, Files. You're gonna need those two apps. So yeah, this guy basically just says to download Documents. He kind of, yeah, okay, yeah, just download it. So you have Documents and your other app, you basically just go to Safari or Chrome, and uh, instead of going to this website, the guy says MCPEDL. What you want to do is type in in Safari or Chrome. Type in your link. Your link should be, you know, when you uploaded it to Mediafire and then you clicked on it. That should be your link. That's what you type in at the top. Uh, when you up, yeah, when you uploaded your world to Mediafire, that's that's what you want to download it from. So he just talks about how clicks download. And then it says downloading, blah, blah, blah. So it says downloading. Okay, so now what you wanna do is go to copy to documents. Open it there. It should say like cannot open or something. Uh, we already have it as .zip, so you don't need to worry about this step. Yeah, I do, do what he's saying. Tap on the three dots, share, save to files. Scroll down. Uh, yeah, go to Minecraft Worlds. You should see, he, he kind of goes a little fast here. It's under Minecraft, like you should see Minecraft there. And then it should say Minecraft Worlds. And click save, yeah. And your world, your world should be there. All right, so for this tutorial, I'm gonna have to give credit for to try Nigerian food to get maps on the PS4. But 
basically, uh, sorry to tell you the bad news, but what you got to do is go back and watch my iOS part. Like, go back to there. And then you got to get on your PS4. Uh, so, like, sorry to break the bad news. You need Minecraft on iOS or Android or Android to do this. Uh, if you don't know how to do it on Android, just go watch my old video. So, so what you want to do is on your iPhone, you want to... You want to start up your pixel art world and then on your ps4 you want to get on your ps4 and you want to go to play and go to friends and go to find cross-platform friends and then join yourself on ios and you'll be able to play on the world on ps4 but the world won't actually be there so sorry to let you guys down there's just no way to do it on ps4 uh, unless you do this on my Xbox So the first thing you want to do is go to the Microsoft store and What you want to do is look up hang on You want to find my files Explorer. so yeah, it should be the first thing up when you search up my my file Files Explorer. so yeah, it's this one right here It's loading so, uh, I bought this app, it's $2, but before you click away, you can get this for free. Uh, there's a free trial, it, it, it literally like doesn't ask you to put in credit card or anything. You can, you can install this for free, I think it's like 30 days or something. It's like right above here. Uh, I don't have it since I already bought it, but yeah, you can use a free trial and it will work perfectly fine. I've installed maps with the free trial on, it, it, it makes no difference. It's literally the same thing, so. Um, if you don't feel like paying two dollars, just get the free trial. So while that's downloading, we're gonna go to my games and apps. We're gonna go to apps and we're gonna go down to Edge. I'm here in Edge, and so uh, I do. You guys remember that link? Well, um, you want to go up here and. Find your link. Uh, you should probably sh have shortened it. So, oh, my files in Explorer just downloaded. So you probably shortened it. Um. Your link in right there. It'll take you to the thing you uploaded. You just want to click download. Uh, it might take you to some blank page. Just go back here. Your download is starting. You want to click save as. And yeah, you could save it as lightningthequeen.zip. Ah, this is downloads, so you just want to go down here and click save. Alright, so that's done. Oh, it's laggy. Whoops. Okay, so now you... Oh, uh oh. So now that's done, you want to go to My Files Explorer. Should It might take some time to open up. Wins your first one. Okay, so this is, uh, I kind of like the, the, the dark theme, so I'm going to do dark. So it's, yeah, the dark theme. Uh, and, um, and right here, you want to, you want to go add folder to library. And you want to go, you want to go down right here, click on this device, and just hit select. It should look like an Xbox, just hit select. And you should see something that says user MGR1 or user MGR0. I don't think it really matters. I've seen both. So you want to open that. Go to downloads. And then here's your zip file. Uh, so you should go to extract. Uh, it might take a little bit. And then here's your extracted one. There should be something right here called the eGames inside of your file. Like inside of here. So now just go to copy once you've clicked inside of it. Go back to this device and go to isolated storage. Now go on top here and find where it says packages. Go to packages. Wait for that to load. Scroll down until you see something that says Minecraft right here. Minecraft. Now go to local state, games, com.mojang, and Minecraft worlds. So here's where all your Minecraft worlds are going to be. You can just uh, press the menu button on the side right here and go to paste. 
And look, it just pasted. So if your Minecraft is open, go ahead and exit out of that. And now we can open up Minecraft. Okay. And you should see your world right here, the e-games. Go on to that. And here we are. This is the world. And it loaded in. Uh, I'm going to turn off clouds. Maybe they're already off. But yeah, I'm going to turn off clouds because sometimes clouds get in the way. Yep, clouds is already off. So here it is. Here's Minecraft pixel art on uh, on Xbox. It's 100% legit. Uh, I didn't like fake this in any way. Minecraft pixel art on Xbox. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe because nine like I'm not exaggerating. Over 99% of you are not subscribed. So if you could subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. It'll help out the channel. Leave a like if this helped you. Uh, if, if this didn't help you, please comment down below at what part you got stuck at so I can come and help you. And yeah, that's it for the video. And thank you guys. See you in the next one.